How to treat keloid scars naturally. When we mention keloid scars, we are talking about those wounds we have that haven't scared as we would have liked them to. Some heal abnormally. For instance, some leave scars that are larger than the original wound and have a very particular color. Also, many people who have keloid scars suffer pain and itchiness in the area. Therefore, keloid scars don't only become an aesthetic problem, but also a source of discomfort. During their formation, patients tend to worry that the scar is some kind of infection. So, if this is the case for you, the best thing you can do is visit a specialist to rule out that possibility. Although the exact cause of keloid scars is unknown, these scars are more common in people who have darker skin. Keloid scars tend to appear after burns, surgery interventions, infections or acne. They also tend to form in the upper part of the body, especially on ears, the neck, back and face. To tackle these annoying scars, there are gels and lotions in local drug stores, or laser therapy. Yet, we can also take care of keloid scars in a natural way. Many of us prefer to try alternative methods that are cleaner and less evasive to our bodies. Natural Remedies to Treat Keloid Scars Apple Cider Vinegar It is important that you choose this type of vinegar and no other. The acidity and properties of the apple cider vinegar help reduce irritation and the size of the scar. What should you do? First, pour apple cider vinegar over the affected area and gently massage it in for 2 minutes. Then, let it dry for 5 minutes. After the time has passed, routinely repeat the remedy to improve the effectiveness of the treatment. It is safe for you to do this treatment every day. Baking Soda Besides being an awesome exfoliant, Baking soda also reduces inflammation and disinfects skin. Below we show you how to use it as a treatment for keloid scars. Ingredients Two tablespoons of baking soda, 20 grams, six tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide, 60 milliliters. Preparation First, mix the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide until it has a pasta y consistency. Then, apply it over the scar and let it work for 3 4 minutes. Additionally, if you would like to increase its effectiveness, you can apply it up to four times a day. It is possible for you to vary the portions listed above. Just make sure the paste is made up of one part baking soda for every three parts hydrogen peroxide. Aloe vera. We have previously mentioned the use of aloe vera for treating lesions. 
In this case, we'd like to talk about its hydrating quality. On the other hand if you are suffering an infection, this incredible plant will help you get rid of it. The process is very simple. What should you do? First, wash the area with warm water. Then, simply open the stalk of aloe vera and apply the gel over your skin. You can apply it as many times as you want. Honey. Just like the remedies listed above, honey is an anti-inflammatory and antiseptic natural ingredient. It also provides a freshness to the skin that greatly benefits keloid scars. What should you do? It is enough to just apply it over the affected area at least, once a day. Since honey is a totally natural product, it does not cause secondary side effects unless you are allergic to it. Garlic oil for treating keloid scars. Garlic is useful in preventing the formation of those extra fibers that increase the size of the scar. Ingredients Three heads garlic, two cups olive oil, 400 grams. Utensils. A glass bottle, one strainer. Elaboration and application. First, peel the garlic. Pour a cup of olive oil into a pan and heat it. Introduce the garlic cloves to flavor the oil. Mix both of the remaining oil in a separate pan to put it all in an oven. Set the oven to 250 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Let it cool before pouring it into the glass bottle. Wait 2 hours before using it. Apply the remedy over the scar and allow it to sit for 10 minutes. Once time has passed, remove the mixture with warm water. These therapies help us slow down and reduce the formation of keloids. Yet, it is also important to avoid exposure of the skin to synthetic elements that can cause it harm. In any case, we always recommend consulting with a specialist, since lesions can be very delicate. And once the lesion has been diagnosed as a keloid, we encourage you to use these remedies and give us your feedback on your experience. <laughs>